With the August 2016 launch of the Xbox One S comes the third revision to the Xbox One controller. Last update, we got 3.5 millimeter input for audio as well as improved bumpers. If you want to know more, check out the video I made on the 3.5 millimeter Xbox One controller here. In this third revision, the controller now connects via Bluetooth, so PC gamers no longer need to spend the extra $25 for the official Microsoft dongle. Additionally, the handles now feature a textured grip similar to the Sony DualShock 4 controller. With Bluetooth connectivity, this opens up the Xbox One controller with Valve's Steam Link, which was only available via a wired connection until now. And since most developers only include a UI for Xbox One controllers, something Valve addressed in this year's Steam Dev Days, it can be a pain using other Bluetooth controllers like Sony's DualShock 4. Pairing the Xbox One controller with Windows 10 is easy. Just open up the Bluetooth settings, search for a new device, hit the pairing button on top of the controller, and done. Jump in the game and go. It's worth noting that Windows 10 Anniversary Edition upgrade is required, and all prior versions of Windows before 10 are not supported. Pairing the Xbox One controller with Steam Link will likely require you to update the controller first. You'll need to download the Xbox Accessories app found in the Microsoft Store to update the controller's firmware. After that, you'll avoid the problem of Steam OS hanging when trying to pair with the controller. While Bluetooth is more consumer friendly, freeing us from buying separate proprietary dongles from Microsoft, Bluetooth connectivity comes with some problems. First off is the limitation of controllers. Microsoft states that only one connected controller is recommended. The Microsoft Xbox wireless adapter dongle supports eight controllers simultaneously, four with the Xbox chat headsets and two with the Xbox stereo headsets. Second is that the Xbox One S controllers don't do audio over Bluetooth at all. Lastly, while this wasn't noticed by myself at distances of about 10 feet or about 3 meters, some people are reporting that connections are not as reliable on Bluetooth versus the Xbox USB dongle. These issues might be approved upon in the future, but are current as of November 17, 2016. You can still use the original Xbox One wireless adapter dongles with these new Xbox One S controllers, making the older 3.5mm controllers the lesser controller since the new controllers support both Bluetooth and dongle connectivity, keeping the audio over a dongle feature as well. This review was done utilizing the pluggable USB 4.0 low energy micro adapter as seen here. Thanks for watching, I love reviewing peripherals for PC gamers, so if you found this helpful, leave a like or a note so I'll know to prioritize these kinds of videos in the future. See you later!